Hey guys, if you enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, feel free to watch more of them by clicking here. And if you want the full podcast, click here. Have you considered a one-on-one -on -one tailored you know, private session? I don't know what sort of sick mind that you have or what you have. A oh, one-on-one -on -one tailored. So abusive. <laughs> one -on -one tailored. That's disgusting. You know I mean? Like a performance coach. But oh, so hey, I'll just see in the room like your videography. <laughs> just watch it. Just watch it. Just watch it. Uh, uh, Stop. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> Notice. Stop right there. Notice how you're thrust. <laughs> you, you're going into the six centimeter depth. You should be a little bit de tilted. <laughs> no, I, I can't. Like I just couldn't. Yeah, fair enough. Fair and, and, sorry for and, and also, it's not even that. Like the way I see it as well. Yes, I could charge like a bomb and do like personal coaching and stuff mm. like that. But that time that I spend in one person, I can put that time to creating more and helping way more people. Yeah, yeah. Make it scalable. Make it scalable in a business sense. Yes, make it scalable, but also help more people. Right. The more people I help, the better. the way I see it is, you know, there's so many relationships that are sexless. There's so many relationships that struggle out there that, uh, you know, they don't know what to do. And they don't really have mm. anyone to talk to mm. about their sex life. Right. You can't really talk to your friends about it sometimes, especially if you're in a relationship. Me personally, I wouldn't want to talk to my best, my, like my mates about, you know. A relationship. This, oh, your girlfriend. You my wife doesn't, girlfriend. like, you know, other than your typical male, oh, my wife doesn't want to have sex with me. Well, mm. That's because you're not fucking putting any effort and you're probably having vanilla sex. Mm. Like, let's be real. Mm. But I don't want to, like, my private, like, but that's my, me and my wife, you yeah. know what I mean? But if you come to me and talk about it, it's different because sure. I'm in the profession. It's sure. like, it's like for example, someone might not want to tell you your fin their finances, but they'll come to you and tell you because that's your profession. Mm. And with the master classes, the reason why I created them was I'm like, fuck it. So many people come into the shop to come see me for advice. Let me, and so many people message me online and stuff like that. And I give a whole bunch of free advice mm. as well. But I'm like, let me package something up and give it to the world that's going to help. And they're literally, they're packed. It's three, it's two and a half hours. It's packed with a whole bunch of resources as well. Why are you smiling? Because like, it's funny. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I was, I was thinking about asking you a business question. Guys, you, how many people have signed up? It's in the thousands. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. And how much is it per class? It's $300. Jesus. Yeah. Good on you, bro. Look, at the, at the end of the day, I'm very fortunate. I'm very lucky. But the only reason I believe that they do so well is because of the value that I give. Mm. If it was just a money grab, it will go up and then it will crash and burn. Mm. Because the originals will take it and they're like, what the, what the fuck is this? What was the first? What was the first sort of inkling you had? Like, holy shit, I'm onto something here, and I'm actually gaining a lot of traction. In, what was that eureka moment for you? In terms of social media, the the biggest eureka moment was I sw I don't I can't pinpoint like the place, the time, and all that. But it's when I literally changed my attitude to you should be getting I should be getting this I should be getting that to no 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 how can I add value. The minute I change my whole attitude to everything in my life to how I can add value, my my life's gone wrong. Mm. My life, and I'm only I'm only just getting started. Like mm. I'm I'm only just getting started. Like now I'm, it's it's game time. How do how do I how do I add more value in what I do? It's different because you're already adding value in a sense, right? You already. I feel like I I feel like I'm trying to add value already, but it's it's. I'm, I don't have the followers, AJ. Help me. But you don't, you don't like help me. Don't focus. Don't focus. Why are you looking at the like bucket? Did you see that? Did you oh, listen to this fucking actor? What did I do? He's like, help me. Help the brother. Isn't he fucking Leonardo DiCaprio? Settle down. I wish I was an actor. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, if you could go back in time and start again, more professional with together. Bro, I wanted to be a Navy SEAL. Actually, straight to God, you look like one, bro. Thanks, bro. What? Because I'm a skinhead. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah, it's a Greek skinhead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't clip that because I'm going to use it. And discrimination is ridiculous. <laughs> Too late. Already but, signed the waiver. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta yeah. look. You gotta. You gotta just focus on the one. Focus on the one and then you'll just don't. I feel like you got this stranglehold on your content, like you believe in your mind. It's a mindset, bro. I've I realized so much in life is a mindset shift. I don't know if you're into like psychology and stuff like that. I am from a manifestation standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. So it, what you realize is what we hold on to is kind of fucks us as well. Like, for example, you might, you are, right, you, you've got your sales board over there. Mm. 
And I'm sure when you when you first started out and you were focused on obviously funding the business, you wouldn't be like, fuck, well, why isn't it moving? Why isn't it moving? Why isn't it moving? I'm like that now even. Yeah. Wow, 7.8 mil, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Okay. <laughs> but like you would look at it and you're actually blocking it. You know, and I I would find as well that like if I'm if I want a video that fucking pops so bad, never pops. Mm. The ones that I post and I don't care about and I let go, just like and I literally let go and just whatever. It is what it is. I I, I gotta conduct myself business as usual. That's when just everything just flows. Everything just flows to you. When you actually let go of the outcome and you continue going about your day, like I love Alex Hormozzi at the moment. I blub He with- killed it, bro. He killed it. He came on the scene and destroyed it very quickly. Absolutely obsessed with everything he does. Mm. And like he talks heaps about it. Like a lot of the shit that you do is got to be a mind sh- uh, mindset shift. Mm. You got to go like he was talking about how, you know, he saw a guy. Let's say, for example, you see a, pe- a person in the same space as you doing content. And you look at him and you're like, <clears throat> you know, I can do that better. You have to have that sort of thing. And then naturally you're going to start lapping him. When I started TikTok... I was looking at everybody like there was you know girls from the area who had a hundred thousand followers and i'm like i can fucking i'm funnier than that i provide more value i can do more than that and then you lap them Mm. hey guys if you enjoyed that short clip from the podcast feel free to watch more of them by clicking here and if you want the full podcast click here